Well, we've definitely had a change in weather over at weekend. Today it's blowing a gale once again. 45 mile an hour winds all day long. We're getting plenty of sun, so it's quite warm in this greenhouse. But we're also getting battered with rain at the same time. But that's British weather for you. I have seen though on the news that over the next couple of days it could possibly drop down to around two degrees. That's quite cold overnight for your delicate plants. So things like your peppers and your tomatoes, if they're still in little pots like these, I would suggest taking them indoors. Just to be on the safe side, we know how long it takes to get these peppers started and get them to a decent size. So for sake or a couple of days, we don't want to be losing them. So depending on where you live in country, just check that weather forecast over the next couple of days. After that, it's going back up to around six to eight degrees, so you'll be fine. I did notice over the weekend, we got a massive amount of support from followers of this channel. And it was really overwhelming to see so many people that care about the future of this channel. And we received quite a lot of donations as well to help us along this way. Everybody just seems to have gone above and beyond in the support. So all I can say is thank you so much for making those donations. And for all the comments that we received, wishing us well over the next couple of weeks. This is what community gardening is all about. And because there were so many people to mention, I'm going to list you all quite shortly. Just to say thank you so much for being so supportive and generous. It really does mean a lot. I've been making my plans already for this new coming container garden venture. So we need to work out a few bits and bobs and we can do that in advance before we get there. How we're going to set things up, what's going to work best for us. And strangely enough, I was wandering around Aldi over at weekends and I spotted these things behind me and I think they're going to be quite useful. And they're just aluminium poles, but they've got curls on them. And you get two from Aldi for £5 and as you can see, they are quite tall as well. These are going to be perfect to put down centre containers to grow tomato plants, peas, pole beans and cucumbers. They're very lightweight. I can't believe how light these are. They weigh nothing, but they are still quite strong. So all we need to do is take a container like this not a bad size and because we know in Lincolnshire it's quite flat and they do get a few winds now and again what we'll do is we'll put stones in the bottom of this container and we'll put quite a few in as well to give it some good weight and at the same time as ensuring this container doesn't just fall over it's also going to really help with drainage for us plants so that's a win-win so we'll just take those poles and we'll shove them down centre We'll pack stones all around outside so that the bottom can't move and then we'll fill it with compost, really pack it down and we've got a nice weighted down container with a pole that once it's sunk into the bottom of that container it's still going to have a good five feet for us plants to grow up. And if we put things like tomatoes and cucumbers in then we can just time to that pole as they go up and increase that stability and then we're all set up for us cucumbers, tomatoes, peas or pole beans. And if we wanted to, we could even use a bigger container like that. The bigger the container, the better your plant grows, the bigger plant you're gonna get. And obviously we'll be pruning it at some point because we need to keep it in check. We don't want people to see a jungle appearing on site. I don't think they'd appreciate that. But as long as we maintain as plants, something like that, you could put pretty much anything you want in it. I have also got some of these, in fact actually quite a few. It's unfortunate that I won't be able to take them all with me. These are homemade wooden planters and you can see that they've got quite a width to them. And although they're not very deep, the roots can spread out that little bit more. So we could also use a few of these. I'm probably gonna take about four or six of these with me. The rest, unfortunately, I'll either have to sell or leave behind. But we're looking at it as options for container gardening already and we're not even there yet but it's always good to have a plan so we're going to be going around a few shops over the next week and just looking for things like that things that we can use and adapt to the situation that we're going to be in quite shortly and ensure that we can grow lots and lots 
of fruit and vegetables in containers. So keep your eye out for that because there's more of that to come. I'm looking at my lettuce again. Little gem lettuces which were sown quite recently. They've come on really well. And there was a lady on channel who asked if I could show just how we get these out of there and then separate them into their own growing spaces. And I know you've all seen this quite a lot of times in the past, but we get lots and lots of new subscribers. So it's always good to have a little bit of a catch up for videos that people want to have seen. And these are getting ready now to be moved on. If you look at them really closely, you can see that they're starting to get those little true leaves on them. And at that stage, they'll have a little bit of a root system on them, which is enough to be able to move them. So apart from thinking about all my ideas for the future container gardening, we're still carrying on pricking these out. And we grow these every year because the little gems aren't art in lettuces. They don't grow big and round. You don't have to wait too long for them because they're like a miniature romaine lettuce. I'm sure you've seen them in supermarkets, but we're not buying anything from supermarkets if we can help it. So there is a lot of little gem plants and we can just prick out whichever ones we want, move them into packs and let them grow on. And then we harvest them at around four inches tall, by which stage they'll still be quite thick as well. And with just one cup, you've got yourself a nice portion of salad on your plate. And it's so easy to prick these out and move them on, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So we've got some sieved compost in here, and it is a bit dry because it's been in greenhouse, but that doesn't matter because when we transplant lettuce seedlings, we always make sure that the compost is pre-moistened. It really helps with that job if you do that. And we can quickly and easily transplant them into here. So we can get 12 individual little gems growing in a really small space, which is obviously gonna be really important when we make that move very shortly. Cause it's all gonna be about using that space to its full advantage. So a quick fill and then we'll squash that down. Really compact down that compost and then top it back off again. And then we'll make sure that, that compost is really saturated. So just giving it a good watering, we'll let it soak in and then we'll do that again. And then we know we've got plenty of moisture to get these plants on the way. We may have to move a couple of these potato plants before we leave as well. You can see just how much growth these are putting on now and they're only in two litre pots. But we've also got a few more as well. We'll look at that over the next couple of weeks and if I have to move them, then I'll do that. We just need to make sure that roots aren't getting built up in bottom. But that's something for another day. Today we're going to move on these little gems. So once again, very simple process. Nice deep holes because we like to sink as salads quite deep. We only want those top leaves just above the line of that compost. Hopefully I'm making these holes big enough but we can widen them if needs be shortly. And you can see that because we've wet that compost, when we make these holes, they stay where we've made them. They don't fall back in on themselves and make it more difficult. We try to do things as easy as possible. And that's that part done. So basically when we get around to this part, we just look for the seedling that we want. That one right there has got its true leaf growing. It's got three leaves as well. It's a nice little plant. So it's a case of just going in and digging up that plant, trying to get as much of that root as we can. We just need to be careful not to break it. If it gets stubborn, just dig in again. Sometimes they can tangle up quite a bit. Let's try again. So just gently shaking that and you'll see those roots starting to come away. And for a tiny plant, look at the length of the root on that. If you leave them too long, they'll tangle up everywhere and then that becomes a bit of a mess. So if we just lay it at the side of that hole, we can then easily just push that root in and the plant with it, right down like that. And then just pinch that together. And that's how easy it is. And we've got a really nice, stable little plant there. 
and that's all we need to do just keep repeating that process and we've got lots and lots in here that are quite small so we'll try and avoid those and stick to the bigger ones so once again digging in and easing those plants out that came out two at a time so gently separating and we've got a nice little bit of root there so you can do that and then settle them in afterwards if that suits you better let's dig this one out that's a nice size one really nice root system on that one shake a bit of compost away lay it on top and then repeat that previous process just push them down keeping that root in place and then pinch around those edges trying to keep those leaves off of that compost and it's not like you're going to be doing anything outdoors today because it's horrendous we'll soon have better days coming April is always a bit dodgy we know that so that quick we've already got four in there and the more you take out the easier it's going to be to get to them So again, poke that in, really quick job, and then pinch it together. And those leaves, as you can see, are nice and upright off that compost. And that's your 12 pack of Little Gem Lettuce all set up. Very satisfying job to do on a miserable Monday morning. And we've got ourselves 12 more lettuces on way. That's all we need to keep doing. Then we transplant, we grow on, we harvest them at a good size and because we're re-sowing every two weeks we've always got something on hand so we never run out of fresh ungrown salad all year long. More importantly we don't have to go to the supermarket and buy it. So if you've never tried little gem lettuces before try them. They're really easy to grow. So I'm going to carry on now looking at ideas for what we can set up at this new location but before I go I just want to say thank you so much to everybody and as a list of all the people that so kindly donated over the weekend. So thank you so much to everyone for doing that over the weekend. It is massively appreciated and so generous of you all. And I'll be back very shortly with some new ideas for this new full-on container garden. And if you want to see what happens once we get to that new location, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell. I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.